Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and today we are continuing the 100 Dragon Challenge with episode three. Again, you guys are submitting some great prompts. I am so excited to get through all 100 because there's gonna be a lot of cool ones over the next few months. But for today, we are doing the B Dragon, which was submitted by uh, Dickie Doodles and Dennis Gammer, I think. Maybe I read it wrong. Anyway, thank you guys for submitting this idea. This was a really, really cute idea. I like uh, the thought of combining insects with dragons. And I just like insect construction overall, and I really like this one especially because it kind of gives me the opportunity to make a fluffy, kind of more cute dragon. So at least here in the initial sketching phase, I was going between if I wanted to make it more insect-like, or if I wanted to combine it and make it kind of an insect dragon combo creature. So when I was just kind of sketching and doodling in my sketchbook, I had a couple ideas going through my mind before diving into these sketches, just when I was out and about. And uh, one of the ideas was kind of making it like cat-like, like a cat-bee combo, which you'll see in the upcoming sketch in a minute where I give it more of a cat face. But that was just like the first initial sketches uh, when I was thinking about it when I was out and about. But I really liked the idea of combining more of the bee look and making it look more like an insect because for one, I don't think I've ever done that. I don't think I've made a very insect-based dragon. So I wanted to push myself to try it. I mean, the more feline one looks really cute and I do like it, but uh, I was really thinking about pushing the insect side of it. I wanted to make sure that I had the bumblebee coloring and kind of the fluffiness of the bee, the antenna, and I for sure wanted the eyes. The eyes were super important to me just because, yes, dragons tend to have more of a, mm, I mean, they're not like, there's not always a default look for the dragons, but you know what I mean. They're kind of like feline, cat-like eyes or lizard eyes. There's a couple different eye looks that you always see on dragons. So I was like, you know, we should really push the B side and make sure it has these really interesting, probably more black, shiny eyes. So I kind of did a little side sketch of an idea. I was going between, do I want to make it the shape of the bee's eyes themselves, or again, make it more like a combo or more of a feline-esque, I can't talk today, a feline-esque eye. Um, after doing the sketch, I did like how that eye looked and I was, uh, you know, kind of drawn to it, but I was like, no, 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 let's go ahead and let's go for the full insect look. Let's make it look like a bee dragon, 100%, let's go for a bee. So then after doing the rough sketches, I jumped into my uh, Blender card and I started sketching out what exactly I wanted because in my rough sketches, it, it actually turns out different than my rough sketches. I had a couple of different ideas and I had a picture of a bumblebee open and I was like, you know, what if we included the tongue as well? I did do that in a sketch, but I, I realized they don't have like the long curly tongues like butterflies. They do have long tongues, but they don't curl. So I was like, let's do a bee tongue. I think that will be cute. And let's combine a couple different aspects that I liked from the sketches. So I made sure to have the curved eyes and I like the idea of having um, kind of a jaw that opens and can expand because with bee mouths, they, I, I know they're not exactly like this, but in my head they kind of remind me of like an ant or um, a spider where they have like the two, oh man, I need to learn insect an anatomy, but you know, like the two halves of the mouth that can kind of like pinch, that, not pinch, but you know, move separately. Um, so I was like thinking if we did that with the dragon jaw, that'd be really cool. So I made the bottom of the jaw kind of two separate entities. I imagine it connecting at some point, but at least in the front, they kind of are these two separate mandibles. I'm probably not using the right term, but I really like how that looks. And it also kind of gives a really nice uh, place for the tongue to start coming out of. And I just love the facial construction in general. I also added a couple horns, you know, cause it's a dragon and I love horns. And as everyone will start pointing out in the comments, I have a horn fetish because I like putting horns on things. So with this guy specifically, I'm like, you know, I know bumblebees don't have horns, but he is a dragon bee, so let's add some horns. So after doing the first initial bit of line work, I added some thicker lines to make sure I could uh, make certain parts pop. Like, I think, I don't know if I talked about this in another video, but if you are layering 
um, pieces of a character on top of each other, sometimes it helps to add the thicker line to where it overlaps because that gives it some type of depth and makes certain parts feel like they're coming a little bit closer. And I also wanted to add kind of a more solid outline to the overall shape in general to make it pop even more. And I knew that I was gonna have some darker colors and some yellows, um, so I, I really wanted some dark lines to go along with that. I love that uh, pen that I'm using. It's the uh, graphic uh, Sakura pen, but man, sometimes it is hard to control. So it was a little bit of a struggle, but I got through it. And after I was done with the line work, I started testing some colors. I knew I wanted lots of different yellows and I decided to do some oranges. And then the B tongue is more of a maroonish red. So I got all those colors out and picked them. And I think I, I actually add a few more colors to the palette. I think I add another darker orange and um, I bring in uh, a light, I think, what is it? Uh, like an N, uh, yeah, an N4 I bring in later to do shading on the yellow because I was trying to do shading with that orange um, and there's a darker yellow that I have there on the side, but it wasn't enough of a shadow. It did give some nice color differentiation, but I didn't feel it shaded it enough. So later on, I bring in some grays to really push the shadows on this thing. And the patterning on this guy was really fun to experiment with because I knew that, you know, bumblebees are banded. They have like a black band, then a yellow band, then a black band. But I needed to think of something interesting and creative for the head. So I kind of was thinking, well, what if it was colored kind of like a horse, kind of the, the brown horses that have the white down the center of their head? I don't know horse. Uh, types, so you'll have to excuse me. Um, but I was thinking that would be kind of fun, but with the black and the yellow, and I thought that turned out super cute, and I also put it around the eyes because I needed to highlight the eyes. Um, they would probably get lost on a fully black face since it's a black eye. You, you can't see it against the fur color, so I wanted to make sure to at least give something to make them stand out. And then I did want to add the yellow to the horns. I already passed by it and I already did it, but I put a darker orange on the tip so then they could stand out against the yellow fur since I knew the next band was going to be yellow. I really wanted to make sure that they stood out. So yeah, as you can see here, I'm diving in with the uh, next gray down to make sure I can really push some of those shadows because I did try that other yellow and it, it just wasn't it, I mean, it added a nice texture and a little bit of differentiation in the color, but it didn't do enough to shade the character. So then now I'm on the second to last band. I'm adding the gray and the yellow, and I just want to touch on this. Uh, so. Like I've said before, these are uh, community entry pieces. So if you wanna take a stab at the bee dragon, you can post it with the hashtag KM100Dragons on Instagram or Twitter, and I look through them and I feature two every week, but I'm interested to see what types of bees you guys pick. So there's a lot of different types. You're 100% okay to do another bumblebee dragon, but I'm curious if you guys are gonna choose other bees. Like I know there's carpenter bees, there's killer bees, um, there's lots of different bee types you can pick from. So do some research, get creative, and I want to see what you guys make. If you do a bumblebee dragon though, don't worry, it doesn't lessen your chances. Pick whatever you want to do, 100%. I look at all of them, I check out all of them, and I'm just excited to see what you guys do with the prompt of bee. And then now we're just wrapping it up real quick. I did a couple little bits in white gel pen because the black was really dark and you couldn't see some of the details anymore. So I wanted to make sure to highlight those with the white gel pen, especially like the jaw area. And then I wanted to add a little bit more texture with the fur and fluff of this character.
So I'd like to thank everyone who entered this month. You guys are so talented and I love looking through all of your entries and I'm not just saying that. Legitimately, you guys thought of some amazing things and other sea creatures to mesh with your uh, dragons, but I want to give a special sa shout out to uh, Samuel Joshua, I'm going to butcher your last name, so I'm not even going to try, and uh, Dark Kamara, maybe? Anyway, both of your designs were amazing. I love that you use lots of different sea creatures in your designs. Uh, we have like a whale, and it looks like another one of those uh, uh, seahorse dragon combos and I just love the colors you guys picked so good job and for all of you great job like a lot of you picked um, some deep sea creatures that looked amazing I really love the different use of battle scars we had some people do just like regular scars or broken horns and then someone did a burn mark and I thought that looked great so great job you guys awesome awesome work so if you guys want to submit for the next prompt, which is the Bumblebee Dragon, make sure to put KM100 Dragons and post it on Twitter or Instagram, and I will pick two more to feature next week and look through all of your amazing entries. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video. And if you aren't already, you can go and hit that subscribe button. I have new videos every week. And thank you so much for watching this. This was a lot of fun. And thank you for all the awesome dragon suggestions. If you want to give some more, make sure to go to the Discord or uh, reply to the tweet. I have both links down in the description. So thanks you guys so much for stopping by and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody.